from the bed. <laughs> as you could tell, I'm trying to move as little as possible. Stop it. <laughs> okay, so we got some new people. Um, yesterday I spoke to you guys about Hannah Hinkle's brother. Um, we put up a bunch of links, um, a link to his obituary, a link to his Facebook page, and a link to Hannah's Facebook page, but we didn't give you the link to the GoFundMe, so today we are going to put that up, so you will see the link to Hannah Hinkle's brother, Billy Montana, or Montana Billy is what they call him, um, his GoFundMe account. Okay, and, um... Thoughts and prayers, the nicest person in the world, his friend Cheryl, her mother Janet is in the hospital and is not doing very well. So he asked if we can all keep Cheryl and her mother Janet in our thoughts and prayers. Kayla Langton, she's fairly new with us and she just told us a little bit more about herself today. When she was younger, she was riding her brother's BMN. BMX bike and she went head over on, on it and she broke out her front teeth, she face planted and she broke her elbow. Well now she's 24 years old and she has osteoarthritis and fibromyalgia and she's finding it very hard to get a job because typing and everything that affects your arm and your elbow and, and it really hurts and um, so she's finding it very hard to hold down a job and stuff. So if we can all keep her in our thoughts and prayers as well, um, Kayla would greatly appreciate that. So Kayla, you are in our thoughts and prayers and uh, we're asking the neighborhood community to do so as well. We'll look together. Yeah, there Great you job. go. Okay. Brittany Olson, last day of school. Yay. Get this, last day of school. She sprained her ankle. <laughs> what a time to do that. Now you're going to be laid up. Okay, we got some welcome to the communities. Luke and Cassie Vlogs, welcome to the neighborhood. Lisa Rants, welcome to the neighborhood. And we thought this was somebody else changing his name, but I think it's Josh Mo 6552. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. Schmodank. We have Joe Schmodank, and, and he's still on our channel. We thought it was him just shortening his name, but it's not. It's somebody different. So we, so, we were confused. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's Joe Schmo 6552. Or Josh, Josh Mo no. 65 by 2. So you let us know. But welcome to the neighborhood. Carmen One Spot, welcome to the neighborhood. And call today became an aunt. Congratulations. Her sister had a baby boy, 8 pounds, 7 ounces. And it's the first boy to be born into their family. Wow. Yeah, so congratulations, Auntie Cole. Okay, I asked a question yesterday is, what was the last dream that you had that you remembered? Tanya Longley, can't think of any dreams specifically, but I usually dream about work, so it's more like a nightmare. Yeah. I hear you. Greg Myers, my last dream I had was really scary and almost slit my throat with a knife. You mean, did you almost slit your throat with a knife? Or, or in your dream. In your dream, or, or what? Elaborate, please. Bonnie Fazbeer. The last dream I had, it was a good dream, but then turned into a nightmare. I dreamed that I was living with this religious family with a friend of mine. Now, mind you, in my dream, I don't know what city or state this takes place in, but everything is going fine till in my dream I walk by a window and this window is something you would see at a drive through and this weird monster looking creature Bogo was its name and in my dream it ripped out the mother's eyes and then it sees me it's coming charging at me and then I wake up Terry Johnson last dream I can remember 
I was working in an office. People were coming in and auditioning for some show. Dougie style. The last dream I remembered was massaging... <laughs> this is really funny. Um, the last dream I remember was massaging a pretty girl's thigh. What makes it unusual is that she clearly haven't shaved her legs in a while. But I didn't seem to mind. He was like most guys. <laughs> Bambi S. My last dream was kind of weird. Someone had dropped a car in my driveway during the night but parked it sideways and left it there all locked up. No keys, no nothing. I have no idea who I was talking to in my dream, but knew them in my dream and was trying to figure out whose car it was and why it was in my driveway. I recall telling the guy, hey, it could have been someone that ordered it on eBay, laugh out loud, and it was just delivered to the wrong address. I have no idea what the dream ever even means, but strange. The car was red and about the size of a Honda, but not a Honda. And it had a car emblem on the front bumper area that said Jeep. It was an ugly car. I was trying to figure out how to get the car out of my driveway because it was blocking me from getting my van out of the garage. Dreams are so random and strange at times. Yeah, it had to have been Amazon that dropped it because <laughs> you're the only ones with the helicopters. <laughs> Hey, maybe it was Google. You yeah, know, they're, Google. they're 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 flying around our they've house been, all the time. They've been chasing us for days. <laughs> Missy Harris, we just moved into a newly constructed house here in the wonderful Kentucky, and unfortunately, in our master bath, we have a serious issue with brown recluse spiders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I had a dream just the other night that we were being attacked by a giant one. So over it. But that was my last, let's say, nightmare. Okay, Hannah Hinkle. Uh, last dream I remember was about a book I've been reading, because that always happens to me. Been reading the Charlie Davidson series by Dorinda Jones. It's addictive, for one. But had a dream that I was being chased by hellhounds and jumped into a pool and the pool was full of Kool-Aid looking stuff and I looked like an Oompa Loompa so they didn't recognize me anymore. It was weird. Makes that's, sense to me. That's my daughter's ringtone for me on her phone, Oompa Loompa. Is that mean or what? Cold today. Last night I had a dream that I got to see someone who I really miss and haven't seen in 10 years. Cool. Those are good dreams. The spasmodic. My last dream was so boring that I won't waste your time, Val. <laughs> of course, he told us about it, but just didn't tell us what it was. And that was it. Okay. So, Kevin. Yeah. What is your, uh... My dream? Well, you know, we actually discussed the dream of mine a little while ago, but I can't for the life of remember what it was. But you guys won't let me forget the one dream that that you guys call pencils. So. Right, Michelle? <laughs> just If you ever saw the movie Splinter, watch that movie Splinter, because I probably got the nightmare from that movie. But uh, I was walking through a yard and bare feet and all these things started coming up out of the ground and I woke up yelling I wasn't gonna say screaming because guys don't scream we yell and uh, Valzo what's going on I said nothing pencils so next morning she says what's what's with pencils and I go and I told her the story so and she hasn't nobody's let me down since I sent him text messages all day of pictures of pencils, and uh, so some of our subscribers and... got involved. No. <laughs> well, my I, I went for a very long time not remembering any dreams. Medications do that to you. But I've been remembering a, um, a few dreams lately. One was, you know, us living in a tent with the Presleys. But... The one I just had very recently, just a couple nights ago, was we lost the house and we bought a mobile home. We sold the truck, we sold everything. 
everything. And we bought a mobile home. And we had enough money from selling everything and buying the mobile home, enough money that we were able to just travel around and vlog. And that's what we did. My question for tonight <coughs> is, okay, now this is a tricky one, guys. If we asked your parents to tell us the funniest story about you growing up, what would they tell us? Be honest. It's time for a neighborhood community credit. Oh, I can't do it with this arm yet, guys, so i got to do it this way. Credit roll. Okay, so... Uh, this, uh, the way knock you off the bed. You're not going to be happy. <laughs> Alright, last you night... You won't knock me off the bed because then you'd have to take me to the hospital. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so two nights ago, our, our question of the, of the night, the trivia question of the night was, was about Hellboy 2004. And it was kind of a trick question. No blowing in my ears. Um, it was who played Abe Sapien. And of course, everybody knows that it was um, played by... Doug Jones, and if you needed a tall, skinny uh, person to be in your movie or to be in a monster outfit, Doug Jones was your man. As a matter of fact, he was the, in Labyrinth, the guy with the with eyeballs on his hand. That was the same guy. So, but in the Hellboy, uh, they dubbed his voice, and they never gave the guy uh, credit for doing it because uh, it was David Hyde Pierce from uh, Frasier, if you remember Frasier, uh, and he didn't want his name on there because he, he thought that Doug did such a brilliant job with the character, he didn't want to take away from his character. So that is the answer, and the people who got it right was Terry Johnson, Bambi S, Tanya Longley, Greg Myers, The Abyss 92882, and Cold Cage. Alright, so today's question is about um, Jurassic Park, The Lost World, which is the second one, right? All right, thank you. I'm asking you anything here. Um, there's a scene where the T-Rex the is running through San Diego chasing some Japanese people. Yes, it is the second one. And uh, they say something in Japanese. What did they say? I know what they said, but I can't say it because then I would give it away. Okay, everybody, there you have it. There's your question of the day. Your trivia question of the day. All right, keep going, keep going. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. Yay.